Welcome back to Fantasy Recap Today. We will see a thriller sci-fi drama movie from 2022 called Blank. It is a UK production and has won awards at the Boston Science Fiction Film Festival. The plot revolves around a desperate writer who signs up for a full AI-operated retreat to cure her writer's block. But when an unforeseen software glitch occurs, she gets trapped inside her unit with an unstable android and no communication with the outside world. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie opens with Claire Rivers, a famous fiction writer in her apartment voice typing her new book. As she speaks, the story is being written on the screen. Claire is unsatisfied with her progression, so she erases the session she just wrote. Once in a while, every writer faces a block when he or she is unable to produce any interesting plots. Claire is currently in her writer's block and is unable to finish her book. Her agent and close friend Alice keeps contacting her and reminds her that the publishers are pushing for the work. Claire finally decides to join one of the retreat programs to fix her block. Claire arrives at the facility the next day. By the time she arrived, the sun had already set. The door opens as soon as Claire rings the doorbell. Once inside, Claire tries to call out for people, but it seems like no one is inside. She is welcomed by an AI who informed her that her personal assistant is being personalized. She gets a brief tour of the house and learns that the place is quiet because the walls are designed to keep the noise out. She is also surprised to see the place is filled with food and nice wines. Her assistant is ready who introduces herself as Rita. She is a robotic AI assistant. Rita starts her role as an assistant and unpacks Claire's belongings. The next morning, Claire wakes up to a morning call by an AI assistant. She heads out for a walk while Rita keeps an eye on her. After the run, Claire has her coffee and asks Rita if she ever imagined being outside. Turns out Rita has been assigned to this high-tech apartment and has never stepped outside. After a cool shower, Claire heads towards her office and takes out the typewriter given by the company. The AI-infused typewriter connects to the neurons and helps with imagination and creativity. However, Claire is still unable to put words into papers and something is bothering her a lot. That night, she can't sleep so she pulls out some wine and watches her interviews. While watching TV, Claire falls asleep. She dreams of an unusual dream. Waking up, she senses something's wrong with Rita who doesn't wake up. Claire doesn't think much of it and goes to her bed for the night. The next morning, after the run, Claire sits to write once again but still unable to deliver anything. And so the days continue on the same routine and her writer's block still hasn't improved. One evening, as Claire pours a drink, she asks Henry, the AI, to join her. As they communicate, the house systems as well as Rita seem strange. Claire retires early but can't seem to sleep. The next morning, all the devices in the house stopped working. She can't open the doors and Rita claims only she can open the doors now as the systems have returned to default. Claire panics and asks Rita to open the door, which leads to an altercation between the two. Claire ends up hurting her arm. Turns out the internal system of the retreat program has been breached and all the programs have returned to their default setting. Now Claire has to finish her book in order to leave the place. In extreme panic, Claire finishes the book but Rita uses her technology to sense that the work has been copied from several books. Being unable to leave, Claire loses her mind. She turns on the hazard sound of her car, waiting for someone to come and help her but no one shows up. The next day, Claire calls on Henry to ask if there is an emergency protocol to get out of the house. Turns out if there is an interior emergency, the door will automatically unlock. Claire comes up with a plan and creates a fire in the kitchen. This causes the vents to release oxygen to stop the fire from spreading. Claire passes out soon after due to the lack of oxygen. After some time has passed, Claire wakes up in her bedroom, guessing Rita must have been the one to save her. To get released, Henry suggests Claire finish the book as the only way the assistant would open the door. Claire sits down to write a story. In her story, a girl lives in a house with her strict blind mother who is a writer. The mother wants to keep the daughter trapped in the house and only to care for her. The mother doesn't even let the daughter open a window. Being fed up with life, the daughter plans to poison her mother, however the mother realizes the plan and doesn't eat the food. Days pass as Claire completes the story. Without her knowledge, Rita comes to her writing room and reads the story. 
Despite Claire's instruction to not enter the room, Rita strangely still checks her works. Claire continues the story. The blind mother abuses the daughter and makes her type her works. If the daughter says the work is good, the mother still abuses her. One day, the postman left the letters in front of the door so the daughter takes the key from her mother and gets the letters. The daughter has been out after a long time and she stares at the wind and the greens outside. The letter is a rejection letter from one of the publishers. The mother submitted many more stories to other publications as well. Being fed up, the daughter lies that one of her stories has been accepted. Claire is writing the story when Rita enters the room. She comments on the story and how she doesn't like the relationships between the mother and daughter. Claire continues to write the story and the book has over 200 pages now. On her birthday, Claire tries to convince Rita to open the doors. She explains to Rita how she is defective and the system of the house is down. However, Rita doesn't override the protocols. The food supplies are running low, however. Rita asks Claire to make a request for the food. In the story, the daughter steals a cigarette and puffs in the toilet. The mother catches her and punishes her for the crime. Meanwhile, Claire spends the night drinking. Rita comes and warns her of her blood alcohol level. Claire proceeds to tell a story. After the story, Claire throws and breaks things around the kitchen. Rita brings a broom to clean, but Claire takes the broom and goes back to her room. Claire has a weird dream and wakes up with fear. She returns the broom to Rita who was cleaning without anything. Claire realizes that without her book completed, she won't be able to get out of the place. In her story, the mother attacks the daughter and tries to kill her. The daughter runs away, leaving her mother. Claire ends her story and shows Rita that her work is complete. However, Rita claims that that's not the real ending and asks Claire to make her real ending. Claire's one month stay has already exceeded three months. Claire tries to move Rita to the door during her maintenance time, however, the door still doesn't open. Staying indoors looking for days is making Claire become crazy. Because of the system failure, all records have been lost so no one actually knows she has gone missing. The AI Henry has also been infected with malware and has stopped working. The days keep repeating as the stocks reach extreme low. No matter what Claire doesn't say, Rita doesn't open the doors for her. Claire finally takes the decision to take her life. She takes some medicine and tries to drown herself. Rita recognizes the vital change and saves Claire at the right moment. The next day, Claire wakes up to find herself safe in the house again. She asks Rita to read the book while she prepares something. Rita reads the book when Claire takes the electrifying machine and electrifies Rita. However, Rita is still functioning and tries to kill Claire for trying to freeze her wires. Meanwhile, in the story, the mother realizes that the publisher never accepted her story and got enraged. She tried to kill the girl when she managed to run away. On the other hand, Claire finally hits Rita hard enough to damage her memory. Rita forgets about the book and agrees to open the door. With just two minutes in hand, Claire struggles to bring Rita to the door and manages to open it. With a sense of relief, Claire looks outside the apartment. In the story, the daughter returns home and sees her mother dead. She opens her mother's secret chest locker where all the story manuscripts were kept. Turns out the stories Claire wrote were from the same manuscripts, indicating it was her story all along and she has been submitting her mother's stories. Claire didn't have a writer's block as she was never a writer to begin with. The daughter leaves the house and Claire remembers the story as she sits in front of the house with Rita's damaged body. That is all about this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with such interesting movie recaps here at Fantasy Recap.